it's hit me. The Vlogmas anxiety is a thing and it's hit me. And that's why I thought that it would be really, really great today to take you through my morning routine that I do on like my best days when I get everything taken care of and it really just sets me up for the best, best day. So are you ready to jump in to my morning routine? Let's go. Woo! Cue the intro. Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow, yo. What? 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 Yeah? You wanna do the morning routine too? Huh? Okay, you could do it. Now keep in mind that I don't do this morning routine every single morning. This is like a I do this when I have the time, and it's really, really powerful, especially when I'm dealing with a bunch of anxiety or stress out with things that I really can't control. So this is something that I can do to center myself and make myself present with where I am and know that I am exactly where I need to be. So that's just a little note that I'm not perfect. I don't do this every single day. I just want to remind you to just take one step at a time, you know, like our friend Jordan Sparks. Don't worry, I won't sing it again. If you want to hear me sing it, watch that link, that video that I just uploaded. Oh no, that it's up there. <laughs> what am I talking about? Oh, by the way, if you are enjoying Vlogmas, please give this the big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, like this channel. Can you like a channel? Who knows? I'm new to the YouTube game. And, oh yeah, uh, ring that little notifications bell. That is going to mean so much to me. All right, thanks. Awkward, bye. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? What do we see? Oh! Oh, do you see the birds? Is that what you're barking at? The birds? Do you see the birds? Huh. All right, so first step, and this is key, before I even check my cell phone, and this is going to, seriously, if there's one thing you take away from this, I would recommend not checking your cell phone for the first 15 minutes of you being awake. What's going on, buddy? What's going on? First 15 minutes of you being awake, and then some sort of gratitude practice. So I use the, fifth, the, no, the five minute journal. This has been a game changer for me because it realized how much power my mind has on myself. I'm gonna link uh, right below to this journal so you can pick it up. Super Super inexpensive, there's also an app. However, I really love the idea of using the actual journal itself because this is going to keep you, you guessed it, off your cell phone. So every single day is broken down the same way. You have a, I am grateful for, a, what would make today great, daily affirmation I am, and then at the end of the day you write something too. Um, I don't even know if you can see that, but I'm going to do mine right now and what? Now that really only took me two minutes. I sped it up for you guys, but I, while I was recording it, it was less than two minutes of writing that stuff down. I know that you have two minutes. I know that you have two minutes in your morning, and if you don't, it's time to wake up two minutes earlier. Believe me, you're gonna feel so much better doing this. Now, it took me a second to figure out what would make today great, because here's the thing that I've been focusing on, is making sure that all of the things that would make today great are things that I can personally control. So, not focusing on, you know, get a new subscriber on YouTube, get a bunch of likes on my Instagram post. Like, that's all external stuff that I can't control. I can do my best to post amazing content, but if the algorithm is off or people aren't feeling what I'm saying, then I'm gonna be let down and I'm not gonna be able to focus on having a great day because those aren't things that I can control. So that's why I wrote, relax with zero anxiety. I can control my anxiety by focusing in on breathing, by meditating a little bit, by doing so many other things, by doing this morning routine, and I can work out, which is what I'm scheduled to do at noon today. Please, please, Paul, do not crap out on yourself. Go work out and I can take a nap. Easy breezy, I can do those things. So that doesn't have to rely on anyone else to actually make them happen. So that's why it's really, really important and that's what I've been trying to shift on. It's really hard because I found that a lot of the things that I want to do uh, or what would make today great are reliant on other people and it doesn't set me up for success. So 
after I do this, then I may or may not slip onto my cell phone, but guess what? We're not gonna talk about what I do on my cell phone because that is not supportive of my morning routine. Next thing I do is I go and drink a bunch of water while I'm heating some water for some sort of morning elixir. So let's go get, whoa, let's go get some water. <sighs> Okay, so if you're wondering, this is my heavy metals filter, this is my fluoride filter, and this is my Kangen water machine. It creates ex extremely alkaline water, six different settings. Uh, this was definitely an investment, but it was super worthwhile. It has helped heal my husband uh, and support his healing of his acid reflux. A lot of us are having trouble getting hydrated, especially because we're not starting the day with water, right? Whoa, I forgot my water. Okay. Hmm. So I like to start my morning with some alkaline water. If alkaline water isn't something that you're into or you don't believe the hype, that's cool. Just make sure that you're drinking some spring water. Tap water, more often than not, not a cute look. There's fluoride in the water, heavy metals, all this stuff. Mm, I'm not like a super water expert, but I know that some of that stuff is not good for you. By the way, my goal is to drink all of this. You know, I'm one of those people who like drinks really, really loudly. If, if you, if you're not into it, just like fast forward, okay? <laughs> Maybe I'll just fast forward for you, okay? <sighs> so that water is really gonna help reset my digestive system bright and early in the morning before you eat anything, all that water. It's really, really important. Now, there have been some studies coming out that it's smart to not eat 30 minutes prior to drinking water and to not drink water 30 minutes um, post eating. So, I normally am not super hungry in the morning, but if I'm going to a workout, I do my best to make sure that I eat something because y'all know when you're working out really, really hard and then you get up and you're just like, ooh, low blood sugar moment. Not a cute look. So while my water is warming up for, I think I'm gonna make a matcha latte this morning, my favorite, I'm going to actually make uh, my other spirulina drink because this has been really, really helpful for me. I know, lots of drinks. Remember, this is like, if I have all the time in the world, like I do right now to make this video, or if I'm just like really need a centering space, I will save the time to do this. But pick and choose things. Highly recommend, no cell phone, drink in the water first, and then we'll get to my next like final, like if you just have a little bit of time to do these things, okay? Are you ready? Let's do this. This actually takes, <laughs> this actually tastes better than you would think. It, it doesn't really taste like super, super green or gross. It just tastes um, a little earthy, you know, a little dirty. Also, this really helps get, you know, things flowing and moving if you're picking up what I'm putting down. Whoa! I gotta go. <laughs> if you know what I mean, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back, and I know what you're thinking. Paul, you've had two drinks already, and you're having another one? <laughs> yep, like I said, best life ever. The ideal morning routine for me. Take my time, enjoy myself, and drink three different drinks. Water, alkalizing greens, and a matcha. Let's do it. That's what I get for not using a spoon. Always too much actual matcha in the matcha. Not always, but like, that's what I get. We're good, we're fine. 
Why am I the laziest today? Didn't put the cap on. <laughs> it's sprayed everywhere. <laughs> That's a matcha. Okay, next step. I'm always into this Moellen's Inner Peace. This is my favorite CBD company. 100% recommend, like, absolutely. A lot of CBDs do not make my stomach feel good. Real talk, I have no idea why, but this CBD, the king and queen of the CBD companies. So I do like two, three drops. Normally I like to do it sublingually, so like underneath my tongue, but if I'm having a matcha, I'll just drip drop, drip it into my matcha, because why not have a CBD infused matcha latte, living best life? Mm. That's good. Now, if you're wondering, okay, well, Paul doesn't drink coffee, but he drinks matcha, and there's caffeine in matcha. The level of caffeine that's in the matcha does not affect me. It doesn't, and just the addition of the benefits of the matcha really just like even out the craziness that I feel when I drink coffee-derived caffeine. So, just find what works for you. That's the biggest thing that I want you to take away from this video. Find the little pieces of my routine that work for you and then translate them into your own. If you're just like, Paul, sorry, um, I gotta drink my coffee first thing. Okay, do you, but maybe give yourself permission to try out drinking some water first. Next up is when I'll normally go take a shower. So I'm gonna go do that, and then I'm gonna show you how I get myself ready because I'm heading to a meeting right after this. Ah. Uh, what, like, what is it about like a nice shower to just like get your day ready, right? So, if you didn't watch my Get Ready With Me when Richard and I were in San Francisco, you can see my entire face routine within that video, so I'm gonna link it right above. However, I also wanted to share with you just something really, really important that I do every morning, and it's like a foundation of my self-love practice and really the thing that I bring into my coaching and when I'm working with clients on developing self-love and acceptance within their life. So. It's called a mirror mantra, and I have one right on my mirror that I look at every single morning and it reminds me to do this. I'm gonna do it with you right now. If you want the actual mantra that I created, you can sign up for my email newsletter. It's right here. All you have to do is head to my website, do that. I'm also gonna leave a link below that's gonna take you right to a landing page where you can sign up for my email newsletter, and you will get a beautifully designed mantra to post on your mirror and it's it's just gonna change your life. So this is the mantra. I give myself permission to be okay with where I am. I honor the journey and know that I am doing my best. I love and accept you. I love and accept you. I love and accept you. And you just look at yourself in the mirror and you say those words and you really feel them. And believe me, it might be scary, it might feel awkward, it might just like make you even cry looking at yourself because a lot of us look at ourselves in the mirror but we don't really look at ourselves. You know what I mean? Do you, do you get, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Are you loving this beautiful light on me? <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in for my morning routine. That, like I said, this is something really, really special that I do on the days that I really, really know that I need to set myself up for success. If I maybe had a crummy day the day before, or if I know that I'm heading into a busy, busy, busy day where I'm not gonna be able to get present with myself, I always try to schedule around 30 minutes to take the time to, yes, drink my three drinks, to do my morning journaling in my five-minute journal that's linked right below, and to 
do my morning mantra work as well. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked this, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to ring the bell because I am uploading every day till December 25th and this is so exciting to have my community grow. Please share this with someone who's been struggling with a morning routine. You know how to do that and leave me a comment below if there's something that you do in your morning routine that maybe I missed. I'd love to know what you guys are up to. Thank you so much and I will see you next time on tomorrow.